Hi again. Let's talk about parse a little more. So far, I've created a simple, you know, web app that, um, you know, it allows you to create posts and it uploads them to the parse site. It includes, uh, you know, an image and then it displays the post down below. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to add some comments. Now, to add comments to this is going to require a little bit of work and rethinking about how this displays. So far, I've avoided using any style sheet or, you know, very little style sheet at least, and, uh, you know, not, you know, arranging things and thinking about how the UI is going to work. I'm just trying to get the functionality working to show how that, you know, how you can make that work. Um, and so to get the comments here, in order to have comments, we'll have to you know, have a comment form, and then the comment form will have to be associated with the particular post, right? Because you're going to add a comment, and that comment is going to be assigned to one post or another post, okay? So um, to get that to work, we're going to have to do a few things. So what I was thinking to do is, um, just to keep this simple, is I want to rework this list right here so that it displays all of these posts as just a single title and then you'll click on the title and then it'll show a detail view at the top you know maybe right here um, above the uh, above the top of this post list and it'll say the post the author and the the, the text of the comment right and then right below that it'll show a comment form allowing you to comment on that post okay and then maybe we'll list all the comments there also okay um, so we're gonna we'll do this in stages, right? So maybe for the first step, what I want to do is I want to rework, um, you know, rework this area here so it lists the posts with just the title, and then we'll have to turn the the title into a link also, okay? And also let's look at how, you know, if we if we add a comment or you know we want to grab a single post to. Um, to um, you know one of the detail posts here if we want to get that one single post then you know how do we do that right or if we get comments like how do we get comments that are you know related to a particular post right so um, let's do a quick sample of that right okay so let's imagine you wanted to create a query and now I'm, I'm gonna just put a little block of code here and then remove it later I'm just putting it in here just to test an idea and show you how this is gonna work right um, and so the idea here is I want to grab one post by its ID number or its ID, you know, um, string, okay? So every post has a unique ID string. Let's go take a look at that. So every post here, and you can see here's my post table. And so every post in here, every object, right, every record, has a an object ID field and this object ID is unique to every post so no post will have the same object ID okay and the same is true for objects in any of the tables so you know a test object you know has a unique ID for every record in the table you know a user object has a unique ID for every user rec object in in the table okay um, so just as a test let's give it a try so this one says um, you know, yay images. So I'm going to copy the the unique object ID here, and then um, let's try and get that one post from the database. Okay. So just as a test, just to test the idea, and then we'll delete this code, and then we'll incorporate it into um, <clears throat> some some more you know more detailed code later, right? But how do, how do we do that? So what I want to do is this. The first thing I want to do is I want to make a query, okay? So I'll say, how about Q equals new parse uh, dot query, okay? And when I run a query on parse, I have to, you know, include an object that's going to represent the class that I'm querying or the table that I'm querying, right? So in my case, I want to query the post table or the post class, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I, and I have the, you know, the basic, you know, object class right here called post. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll use it inside here, right? And since we 
define this variable to hold that you know post class at the top of the page this is sort of global for our JavaScript so we can use this name anywhere you know down below here so we'll do a new parse query for posts okay now normally we just say query dot find and then we'd go and find all the posts right and that's how we get you know the full list of posts but in this case before we call find I'm gonna say query dot equal to okay and so this is gonna modify the query we're gonna add a constraint on it to say only return posts where you know some field is equal to some value okay so if I wanted to find you know um, only the posts where the uh, title field is equal to yay images then we could put you know title here and then put yay images over here right but I, I don't actually want to do that what I want to do is I want to get this object ID right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say object ID is equal to and then I'll paste the object ID now normally we would not just be using the object IDs like this right we would always be getting them from the database and our code would be passing them around but just for this example right just to show you how equal to is gonna work for us right um, I'm gonna copy the object ID from here and then just paste it in here for the example okay so after we've after we've set this equal to constraint then we can run find and this constraint will apply to that to that query okay so then let's uh, decide what's gonna happen on a success and what's gonna happen on an error and uh, let's kind of arrange our code so it looks good okay and on a success we will get um, we will get some results so we'll put this here and results is going to be an array and then on an error we will get an error object so in the case of a success let's say console dot log right and if we're querying for an object ID there should only be one result we will get an array but it'll have one single item in it if it has more than that there's something wrong like totally wrong right okay so what we'll do here is we'll say um, results item 0 that's the first item in the array dot get and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the title from that object so when I get the results here I should have an array and it should have one object in it and it should be this object here and that object will include the object ID the title the content the user the file and all this other stuff so I'm just gonna get and display the title okay so if it says yay images in the console then we know that this equal to is doing its job and getting only the first record okay and if you know just for testing here just to make sure that um, things are like that would have been an error right there right so let's make sure we spell console correctly right and uh, so I'll do console log and if we have an error message I'll do error dot message okay so we'll save that and then um, go back here I'll refresh my page and since I put that JavaScript outside of um, the rest of the code you can see that it just loads you know immediately when the page runs and then it says yay images okay let's refresh it again oh there it is yay images what if we got a different object ID what if it was this one um, how about uh, how about this one no image right so I'll copy that and uh, if I go over here and then I paste the object ID here now we're gonna get you know an a record from the table where the object ID is equal to this new value and then that should be the one that says no images right so let me save that we'll refresh this and then it says no image right so uh, so there you go that's equal to okay 
So, you know, for the next example, I'm just going to delete this. You can comment it out, take some notes, copy this to, you know, these notes to another file or something. But uh, I'm going to delete that because we're not actually going to use that. We're going to incorporate that same code into another, you know, function block that can be activated when you click a link. Okay. So, uh, so we'll save that for now and then we'll come back and finish this in the next video.